Okay, so the last little while I've, I've had some thoughts and been thinking, hey, I need to share these thoughts or at least put them in my notes or something. But um, I, I just, I felt inclined to share some of my thoughts. Um, I know so many people today that are struggling with mental health stuff. It seems like, you know, I don't know if it was maybe, if it's, it, social media and has changed the, the 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 view on it to where we all know what each other's doing now and, and more people are uh, willing to talk about it. But you know, or maybe it's always been there. Maybe you know, I don't know. Has mental health always been an issue? Was it an issue before? And we just now hear about it more and more. I mean, every time I talk to anybody, it seems like they know somebody or they're dealing with it personally but mental health is huge and I think especially it probably it probably affects men and and women pretty equally but you don't hear men talk about it much you know I don't know if it's a an ego thing or you know I, I don't know why men don't talk about it but it's huge it's so prevalent in our society today with teens shoot even before teenage years all the way through adulthood and and I don't know the answer to it the only thing that I can say about mental health is I've been there I've 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 felt it I know what it feels like I've had some severe mental health issues since the accident that I'm working through and, and I am doing way way better it's it's really good now and and I don't want to ever come across as a guy that, that stands up on the stage and hoorahs and, and tells everybody you can do it. Mental health is tough. And I wish that I had the answer. I wish that I, I, I could say, look, this is what you need to do and it'll cure your mental health. Because I don't think, I don't think that medicating mental health issues is necessarily the, the answer. I'm not saying don't get on medication. It helps some people. It turns their lives around. I just, for me personally, I don't like the medication side of, of, you know, just prescribing a pill to make somebody numb to get through it. Now, if it's severe enough that, you know, someone might be thinking of taking their own life, then what, by, by all means, whatever whatever you need to do, whatever's necessary, then, then absolutely do it. But as I've thought about this a lot lately... And, and thought, what are the answer? What is the answer? What, how, how can I help people more than just know that, that I'm experiencing it, that it's okay, that we all experience it, that, that a lot of people are experiencing uh, depression and, and mental health stuff. I think I, I came up with a few things that helped me a lot. And I think would be, you know, do they solve it and cure you of mental health? Probably not. But some things that can really help. Um, the first thing that, that I think is, is a kind of, it's almost like a no brainer and it's really simple and we can all do it. But I know for me personally, if I get tired and don't sleep well at night, uh, I don't know if it's the physical side of me that, that just gets worn down and can't fight off, uh, stupid thoughts that aren't even real. But when I'm tired, when I'm tired is when I suffer the worst mental health wise and and physically as well but mentally if I'm tired it's like I almost start um dreaming stuff up I come up with stuff that's not even real I mean worst case scenarios for everything when I'm that tired everything seems worse than it is so my first thing the number one thing that I think and this has helped me personally is sleep if you get enough sleep that you're rested and wake up feeling good now that's a whole nother issue, right? I mean, it's not that easy sometimes. You get in a bad sleep habit and oh my gosh, then there's medication for that, right? But if you can find a way through uh, meditation or, or whatever it may be, there's lots of things out there to help you sleep. And like I said, that's a whole nother topic. Uh, and I've had to deal with that too. But but number one is sleep. Number two for me is gratitude. When I was suffering the worst part of my depression since the accident, and really the most down, it was it was a lack of gratitude in my life that caused me to, to really struggle. Because 
I, I heard a talk by President Nielsen uh, about two months after I'd been home, and I was struggling pretty good. I was, you know, I couldn't do the things I wanted to do anymore, at least not to the capacity that I did before. I couldn't do a lot of a lot of the things that I enjoyed and loved, and it was kicking my butt. And, and then, you know, I was the guy, I was hear people say, dude, at six months, you're going to have so much back. You're going to be doing so good. Well, six months comes around and not a lot of change has happened. I dang sure I'm not where I want to be. You know, today it's been about 10 months, coming up on 10 months. And I, I've made some, some pretty drastic changes in my mentality. And it's really, really helping. And I am doing better. I, you know, I don't know if I have a lot of feeling back yet, but I don't want to get off subject here. Gratitude. When you think about where you're at and what you're struggling with I'm going to guess at least for me I'm going to I'm going to say for me it is it's selfishness it's I can't do this I I wish I could do this better I'm not good at this anymore I I can't provide for my family anymore I can't do this I'm I'm not that person I'm not skinny I'm not you know when when you start thinking about what is it that I'm depressed about? I I don't know about everybody um, because we all go through so many hard trials. But for me personally, it was very selfish things. It was all I, I, I. And when I heard the talk by President Nielsen about gratitude, you know, I can't even remember the exact things. I just remember that day thinking, okay, I, I've got to find some things to be grateful for. So start that was like at 11 o'clock in the morning and throughout that day I just kept trying to think of things that I was grateful for and by the evening I was starting to be a lot happier I was starting to feel better about myself and, and my situation the next morning I was in the shower and I was like wow I can I'm showering I'm scrubbing my my head and I'm not having to hold on to the wall with one hand while I do it I was like hey I just showered on my own like I was so caught up in I'm sad, I'm this, I can't do this, I, that I didn't even realize the progress that was being made. You know, if we can have gratitude, so okay, so here's the other thing with gratitude. How do we get more gratitude? Service. Well, first off, I think it starts off by saying, trying to find all of the little things in, in your personal life that you're grateful for. Dig deep. You know, are your kids healthy? Is your wife happy? Do you have a wife? Do you have a home? Are you homeless? Are you, do you, do you find food today? I promise you there's not one of us that can't find something to be grateful for. And if it's one thing, that's okay. Let's build on it. But find something to be grateful for. If you can find something to be grateful for, it changes your perspective on life and you, you stop becoming selfish. And I'm not saying that anytime we are battling mental health stuff, we are being selfish because it's it's more than that. It's a real thing. And I'm just saying that that is one way that I've found for me personally, I can get through hard times mentally. Um, the other thing, I, I don't know, it probably deserves a, a whole category on its own, but for me, it goes back to gratitude, is service. If you find a way to serve other people, you can it can bring so much happiness to your life it, it, because you, you start loving, you start loving other people more than yourself. So again, it, everything that, that I find personally, other than maybe a few physical things like exercise, exercise is huge for my mental health, but everything besides that kind of revolves around gratitude and selfishness. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the key to everybody's success when they, they fight mental sickness or mental health stuff. But for me, those are things that have helped a lot. Um, kind of funny story, just to let people know a little bit about where I am at today. Uh, I'm getting way stronger. My legs are still not a lot of feeling. <laughs> Very little feeling in my legs still, uh, uh, you know, as far as where I had feeling before down the back side of my legs and, and butt and feet. But they are definitely getting stronger. Uh, I know for a fact they're getting stronger. I can lift more weights, go longer. My endurance is getting better. So, so that's really good. I still can't feel my feet very good at all, especially the bottom of them. In fact, funny story. 
Uh, yesterday was the first time I did very much physical work stuff. I had to get down in a trench and do some shoveling. And uh, I had hip waders on. And I'd hung my shoes with my braces on the fence. And I'd stuck my phone in my shoes. Well, I got done in, got down in the ditch, got soaking wet. I was putting a meter on my irrigation line. And uh, got done, got back in the backhoe and was driving off. And I started looking all over for my phone. I'm like, wait a minute, where is my phone? I'm looking all over in the back. Oh, go look on the ground. I'm walking around looking all over the trench. I'm like, I swear I put it in my shoe. And I look down and, and my left shoe is like super tight on the arch. And uh, I had actually put my foot in my shoe, tied it up, everything, and had been walking around on it and had no idea. It It is crazy it, when you can't feel the bottom of your feet. In fact, a lot of people don't realize when when you can't feel the bottom of your feet, if you close your eyes, you, 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 the way that normal people, if you can feel your feet balance with your eyes closed is when there's pressure on the bottom of your feet on the front, you, you lift up a little. If there isn't any, you push, whatever. You know what I mean? You, you, you feel pressure on the bottom of your feet to help you balance. So if you can't feel that pressure on the bottom of your feet, it is really hard to balance. That's why when I close my eyes, it is tough. I just have to kind of sit there and wobble and I, I put I've been staggering my feet and that helps a lot but that's where that's kind of where I'm at with my balance and stuff so I don't know just kind of fun and that was pretty funny I, there was a few guys there when I pulled that phone out of my shoe they they couldn't believe it but I hope that this helps and I hope that you know give me some feedback I want to know I'm getting ready to do some public speaking and I want to know what is it that has helped you get through your mental sickness or your mental health stuff or or a father or, or a brother or anybody you know? I want to know really sincerely what things helps you get through when you're feeling down, when you're depressed, when you're struggling with life. Like What, what is it that, that makes it better for you besides medicating? Uh, I'd appreciate any feedback. And again, thanks for following along. And dude, I get people all the time you know, telling me good job, Shad, I'm proud of you. You're doing so good. And I just want you all to know anybody that that's made those comments to me, they really mean a lot. They, they give me so much motivation. And, and I know that everybody's prayers for me and my family and, and the Mikesell family, we feel them. They're real. And we very, very much appreciate it. So I hope you all have a, a good day.